What's up young ballers? In today's video, I'm gonna go over how you guys can mentally and physically prepare for your games. And I know I don't have cameraman Jacob here today, but we're gonna make it work. Let's go. So first things first, I don't have anything that I do necessarily that I have to do before a game or the day before a game. You know, some people like to you know, make it a necessity to get this amount of hours before a game, or they have to eat this specific meal if they want to perform well. For me, I have certain goals that I want to reach. Like I want to get seven to nine hours of sleep. I want, or I prefer to have four eggs in the morning or two eggs and some egg whites in the morning with a side of carbs and fruits. And that's what I try to reach, but I don't make it a necessity for myself because I feel like if I don't end up reaching that goal, then I tell myself I'm not gonna perform well or the game's not gonna go well just because I didn't have this meal or just because I didn't get X amount of sleep. So I think it's important to have these goals that you want to reach before you you know, play the game, but don't make it a necessity because then you'll just tell yourself that you're gonna play bad just because you didn't end up doing it. And this is personally just what's worked best for me over the years is to have a goal set, but if it doesn't happen, then it's not the end of the world. It'd be good if you can reach that goal, but it's not a necessity. It's not the end of the world. You're still gonna perform well. And then building off of these goals that you want to aim for before the game or the day before the game, you wanna try to keep these as consistent as possible and try to do this, you know, if something works well, then try to do it the next game. And if it works well again, then try it the next game again. And if something doesn't go well, then try something else, you know, be experimental. I'm not saying for you guys to have a set schedule, a set goals that you just that you go with for each game. And I encourage you guys to experiment and see what works best for you. But you don't want the schedule and these goals to be all over the place because you kind of want to build a bridge of consistency between each game so that you know what works best, so that you know what doesn't work, and so that the day before the game or right before the game, you know what not to do and what to do. And so you don't really have to think too much about your routine. You end up just having to focus on the game at hand, visualizing and preparing for the actual game and not worrying too much about routines or whatever. You want to try to keep things as consistent as possible so you can focus on the main goal, which is winning the game. Something else that I highly recommend you guys do is visualization before the game. Just take, it, it can only, it just has to be like 10 minutes out of your day. I'm sure you guys have 10 minutes to spare to do something that can honestly go a long way if you do it consistently before games and every day to be honest, is just take 10 minutes out of your day just to do breathing practices of like five seconds in and then five seconds out. And this honestly helped me so much for many of my games and it's something I try to keep consistent. It's not something I do every single game. Sometimes I don't do the 10 minutes of breathing practice, but I try to and I try to keep it consistent. And whenever I do it, I honestly just feel a lot more relaxed whenever I'm going into the game because I know that it took 10 minutes out of my day to just be with myself, be with my own thoughts and try to control my breathing and my thoughts and what's going on in the day, what, how, and it's also like a reassessment. It's like thinking about how your week went and how the previous month went. How are you feeling right now? And I feel like that's so important that a lot of players neglect is just time with themselves, time to think with themselves and focus on your thoughts, focus on your breathing. And really at the end of the day, for me, this helped me a lot more in a game, controlling my thoughts and controlling my breathing, controlling my emotions. And that's something really important to have in a game is that control over your mind and that'll go a long way in your performances. Lastly, you guys really don't need to overthink how you prepare for a game. It can really just be as simple as talking to a friend or ta hanging out with your family, reading a book. It, there's no secret key to unlocking like a, a, a perfect routine before a game. That you just have to experiment. You just have to see what works best for you. And really like I, I used to spend a lot of time in my younger years like searching up like I would watch Become Elite, like his, his, his routines before a game. And I would try to copy them. And if they didn't work, I'd end up still doing it because it was Become Elite. And I would still persist in doing it without really reassessing, you know, there's things that didn't really go well, but there's also things that did go well. Like he would talk about journaling. I'm not huge on journaling. I've, I've tried it and I didn't really, maybe I wasn't doing it properly, but 
I personally didn't really like it. I didn't feel the benefit of it. And my whole message here is that I only did journaling because Become Elite did it. And I was thinking to myself, oh, I need to do journaling because Become Elite does it. And I was just really overthinking this whole routine thing. When in reality, guys, I encourage you just to not overthink it. Just do something simple. You can really just hang out with your family or talk to a friend or, you know, like play video games. Like I think Pirlo did that before the World Cup and he ended up winning it with Italy. Like it really is just something that's really simple that can be really overthought by a lot of young players. That was me in the past, but now I just, I just do the simple things. And I encourage you guys to do that as well. Experiment with what works well, and what doesn't. And honestly, just have fun with it. Like I did that this past season with Aloni. I would just have fun with the whole routine thing and just try out different things. And then I found breathing practices and that's what really worked best for me. And so I encourage you guys to just have fun with the process, just like with anything in life, just have fun with the process and enjoy that journey of finding yourself and finding what works best for you. So now I'm gonna go over an example of how I would shape my pregame routine right before the game and the day before the game. So the day before the game, I try to keep my sleep schedule as consistent as possible throughout all days. And honestly, it doesn't work out all the time. Obviously, like a lot of people have the struggle with like consistent sleep. I'm still working on it, but I try to keep it at around 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. And I will try to get seven to nine hours of sleep. Usually eight hours of sleep is like the perfect amount for me. So I try to make that my goal set. Eight hours of sleep the day before the game. And whenever I wake up, I try to have eggs with spinach and rice or sweet potatoes on the side, whichever one I have, and try to get my veggies in and my carbs and try to drink a lot of water as well. Water is really important. I try to get, you know, like two glasses of water in right when I wake up because the body loses that water when it sleeps. So I try to fully hydrate and fuel my body to be ready for the rest of the day. And then if I have time throughout the day, I'll try to do something productive like working on Conklin Official or, you know, playing with my, I'll, I'll honestly just like play with my dog or do homework or do something that I would do on a normal day. I try to make my pregame routine, if I have time, I try to make it consistent with what I do the days prior. So it's not like a big change. I try to keep it consistent with what I did the days before. And then obviously I try to find those 10 minutes throughout the day where I can do breathing practices and meditation, visualization. And then going into the game, I try my best to be early and get ready early so I'm not stressing around and you know having that built up stress before the game. And I try to keep my, my thoughts clear. And so that's important to me as well. And then when I get to the game, there's nothing in particular or special that I really do. I kind of just hang out with my teammates or I'll talk with them about, you know, the game at hand or I'll just talk about something fun and just to keep the mood light and keep my thoughts clear. And it's really not overcomplicated for what I do. I just try to keep it really basic, tuned into the game as well. I'm also like, as I'm talking to my, like my teammates and my friends, I'm thinking about the game at hand and just kind of visualizing the plays that'll go through, my emotions that'll go through. And I'll talk in a later video about how to properly visualize and how you can get the most out of visualization. But that's what I try to do right before the game. Nothing overly complicated, just trying to keep my thoughts clear and getting prepared for the game. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for how you can better prepare for a game. If you want me to give an example of this and record my pregame routine before an actual game, I'll do this later in the future once I can actually play. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in a later video. Peace.